Welcome back. In this video, I'll be teaching you about thickness analysis. Let's go to the Evaluate tab. Click the tool on the Command Manager, Thickness Analysis. First, we define the target thickness. I'm going to enter 2 millimeters. First, we'll use the Show Thin Regions option. Under Target Thickness Color, let's select Continuous. Here's the results of our thickness analysis. The color-coded regions show where the thickness is less than 2 millimeters, and as I mouse over, I see the thickness displayed at any given point in the feedback. The scale in the Property Manager tells us what the colors mean. Currently, the target thickness color is white, and we said that here. If you want to change that, just click the Edit Color button, choose a new color, click OK. Click the Calculate button to see the analysis with the new color scheme. Now the areas where the thickness is greater than 2 millimeters are shown in blue in the graphic area. Let's change the target thickness color back to white. Here we have the option to use a continuous or discrete scale. And with discrete, we can specify the number of gradations. There's a section called Performance Accuracy down here. Here's where we adjust the resolution of the color display. Let's click Calculate. So the higher your resolution, the longer the calculation is going to take. Let's change the resolution back to the lower value and restore the continuous color scale. We've got a full color range option, and we can also specify a color rather than a full color range option. Let's say blue and click OK. Let's restore the full color range option. This time under Analysis Parameters, let's try Show Thick Regions. I'll set a thick region limit of 3 millimeters. Tab to register. We've got the option to treat the corners as zero thickness. Let's check that option and click Calculate. In our display now, areas where the thickness is less than 2 mm and larger than 3 mm are shown in white. When I mouse over the corners, notice that the thickness value in the feedback display decreases. That's because the corners are treated as zero thickness areas since we've got this option checked. Let's uncheck it and recalculate. Let's mouse over the corner area. I see here that this area increases the thickness. The value is about 4.7 millimeters. Let's scroll down to the bottom of the Property Manager. Under Performance and Accuracy, we've got the option to select faces for local analysis. Let's click Calculate. Now the analysis is performed in relation to this face only. We can save a report if we need to, and we can save the results as an e-drawing as well. If we click Options, we'll be taken to a window you recognize. We can choose which views to include in the report, Current or Current Plus Specified. Let's cancel out. And this concludes our video about thickness analysis. In our next video, I'll show you how to use the Symmetry Check tool.